Okay. How about this person? Justin Bieber. Right, cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have you ever met anyone famous? Well, the, there were crowds of people waiting to see. Waiting to see who? Jesus. Right, Jesus. They aren't all about his miracles, but they wanted to see for themselves with their own eyes. Well, today we'll be learning this theme. Jesus is the Savior. But you know, John, not a Savior who just came to save their lives or provide them food to eat, but a Savior who wants to save their souls. Oh, we were so tired. All these people wanting to see Jesus. We had crossed the Sea of Galilee, and large crowds followed us. They wanted to see Jesus do miracles, these amazing things that only God can do, like heal the sick and make the crippled walk again. We went to the mountain and sat down, and all these people followed us. And Jesus looked at them, and then he looked at Philip, and he said something very shocking. He was testing him. Jesus knew what he was going to do. He always seemed to have a plan. Philip, where are we to buy bread for all these people? Jesus, even if we worked for months, we would not have enough money to feed them. Jesus, uh, there's a young boy here who gave me five loaves of bread and, and two fish, but what good is that with all these people? Andrew, put them in groups of 50 and 100. Jesus was teaching his disciples. He asked them to do something impossible because he wanted them to learn to trust him as Lord and Savior. If you have believed in the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior, God wants you to trust him for everything. When you trust God, you believe he's who he says he is. You believe he will do what he says he will do. God might teach you by letting you go through hard times or by helping you do something very difficult. I remember when I first came to America, I had to speak English all the time because no one else knows my language. It was hard because I couldn't speak my mother tongue. But and I got used to it, so now I just speak English and I don't even think about it. So maybe you pray about something for a very long time and never get to see the answer to your prayer. These things are not easy, but they help you to trust God. They teach you that you are not in control. God is in control. They give you the opportunity to watch God do things you cannot do. You know, the Bible tells us in 2 Samuel 22, 31, this God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord proves true. He is a shield for all those who take refuge in him. You know, God is perfect in all ways. And he knows what is best. So ask him, ask God to help you to trust in him, even in hard times. Father, bless this food we are about to eat. We could not believe what we were seeing. Over 5,000 people ate that day. Jesus asked us to gather the leftovers, and there were over 12 baskets full. 
the people saw this miracle and they, they believed in Jesus. He, they believed He was the promised Messiah, the Savior. But they only wanted a Savior who would feed them and lead an army against the Roman Empire, the evil Roman Empire. He had come for a greater reason. He had come to save people from their sins. Jesus saw this crowd and, and they were ready to make Him king that very moment. So He withdrew to the mountain by Himself. So did you hear why Jesus came into the world? He came to die for our sins. That's right, exactly. Really good. We all sin against God. When we lie or we're ungrateful or hurtful and even mean, we're born this way. And no one teaches us to sin. See, Jesus came to rescue us. He took our full punishment on himself. He didn't have to, but he chose to die for you. He was put on a cross where he died, and then in a grave, and in three days he rose from that grave. Listen to what it says in 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. It says, Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried and he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. You know, then it goes on to say that over 500 people saw him alive. It is true. This is not a made-up story. But do you believe this? Have you trusted in Jesus as your Savior? The disciples still had a lot to learn about Jesus, but they were beginning to realize that Jesus did not just come to feed people. He was showing them his power and glory to help them believe that he had come to save them from their sin and give them eternal life. Now, have you received that gift of eternal life? knowing that your sins, they separate you from God. And Jesus came, the whole reason he came was to die on a cross, to rise from the grave so that your sins can be forgiven. You know, as it says in Romans 10, 13, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. You could do that right now. You could just call out to Jesus and say, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I trust in you. You could do that at any time. That's right, because Jesus came to make a way for you to have eternal life. What a powerful truth. We would love for you to join us next week. and We are going to hear and see how Jesus gives hope to those who are suffering. And remember this, we are always praying for you.